In this video, I'm gonna show you how I pack my 2D7 day travel, the bag I use, and different packing method that you can use for your next trip. Have all your stuff with you at all times. Hey guys, I'm Winsor Surin. I make videos about travel, business, and DIYs mostly. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you're not new, welcome back. Without further ado, let's get packing. I'm using the Air Travel Pack 2, 33 liters. It has a backseat shape, which makes it quite easy to maximize the space inside. This bag is made of great material and very comfortable even when fully packed. Since my bag has a shoe compartment, I start by putting my shoe, sandals, and I even have more space left for my water shoes. When you open the main compartment, it may look like the shoe compartment doesn't leave much space, but this is not the case. For my clothes, I lay them all on a flat surface, in this case my bed, but you can also use the floor, kitchen table, etc. Anything that is flat. Then, I put all my tabs together. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four t-shirts, two button-up shirt, an extra tank top, light jacket, and a rain jacket. As far as the bottoms, I'll always bring a multi-purpose short like this one that can be used when I get to my destination and it can also be used as swim shorts. Plus one more short that is more on the casual side that can be dressed up. Here's a pro tip, always bring clothes that you can mix match with each other. That will make your trip way easier. I use this packet right here to put my four pairs of underwear. I'll have one on while I'm traveling which makes it a total of five that's more than enough for seven day travel. Then what I'll do is put my five pairs of socks wherever there's an empty space. Again, try and maximize every little space inside the bag. Before we continue, let me ask you this. Have you ever traveled for at least three days with just one backpack? And do you think you can do seven? I don't know, let me know down in the comment. Inside my toiletry bag, you'll find all my essentials like toothbrush and paste, lotion, my cologne, sunscreen, nasal spray, everything that I'll need, Tylenol, every single thing that I need will be in there. And then I'll stock all my clothes on top of each other. You can also use the rolling method or even use packing cues, but folding everything in thirds works for me best. Also, I never put anything on top of my toiletry bag so I can easily access it as I'm going through security checkpoints. I always try to open and close the lid just to be aware of the amount of stuff that I have so I can know if maybe I can add a towel or a light travel blanket in case I'm going to be on a long haul flight. In the back of the bag, there is a laptop compartment that can fit up to a 15 inch Mac so my 13 inch fits perfectly in there. I always bring a foldable water bottle with me because who wants to pay $5 for a bottle of water at the airport? In the front pocket, that's where I have all my cables because my bag has dedicated spots for them. But you can also use a zip bag to organize them or a cable kit. Next, I'll put my adapters, magic mouse, my glasses, and next to it, I have an international power adapter. There's even more space left for my GoPro and more clothes. But I never fill my bag up to the max just in case I need to buy gifts to bring back home. This is how it looks on my back. I'm 5'9", it is very comfortable. Shoulder straps are extremely well padded and it also has top side handles, which makes it very versatile for carrying. There's also a luggage pass through just in case. In summary, this bag was made for smart travel. This packing method will also work for roller carry-on luggage and duffel bags. Last but not least, I also carry this sling for my documents like passports, boarding passes, etc. for faster reach. But for those of you wondering where I put my camera, I can always remove a shirt or two so I can fit it in a bag. But the only problem with that is because of the fact that I'm going to use the camera to take in-flight shots like these, it will be easier to have quick access to it. For that. I will upgrade to a bigger sling, maybe a six liter, that can fit my mirrorless camera and lenses. 
traveling with just one bag means that you're more aware of what you're bringing you have all your stuff with you at all times you can breeze through security you don't have to wait a baggage claim or even risk losing your bag if you made it this far consider subscribing as i'll be bringing more travel tips and tricks to you and of course travel vlogs and don't forget to leave a like if you like this video leave a comment if you have suggestions and tips i'm also here to learn the best tips come from you and before you go watch one of these two videos thank you for watching and i'll see you next time